This video we're going to be breaking down the Bengals offensive playbook and specifically a formation that I think you're going to think you're going to uh, kind of like how this formation plays against a lot of the meta defenses in the game. Really good against man coverage, really good against zone and uh, going to be jumping into this video. Now, again, one of the reasons why a lot of people are kind of choosing the playbooks that they're choosing is really due to auto motion plays. Auto motion plays are uh, really important in this year's game because they help you to beat man coverage consistently and they give you some problems against zone coverage. Now this formation has a lot within it. The split Y off is a really unique formation. Um, a couple different cool plays uh, within this one. But then uh, this play wheel trail is really good. Uh, but the main th reason why you would want to be in Bengals is for this tight slots. So I'm going to set a couple audibles here. Uh, you've got to play mesh. You've got to play drive trail, wide receiver corners, quick base. Those are all good. Um, but you also have uh, plays like corner and goes with the zig route on one side, a little backwards uh, or return route on the other side. You have base in here, uh, but really the best uh, play in this formation, in my opinion, is this motion uh, this motion PA slide. You also have drive switch, which is kind of a, a cool play. We might take a look at that as well. Uh, but I want to take a look at this motion play. So the cool part in this year's game is you can kind of uh, freestyle a lot this year because you have corners and post routes. So it kind of makes every single offense a little bit more viable. And this motion play is really good. As you see here, it has this tight end on the motion. So we'll just run a route combination, um, you know, like something like this. The other thing is tight slots is going to be really good for attacking man coverage. And we'll just take a look at this and kind of show you what this does. So first and foremost, just want to show against cover two, and then we'll kind of talk about some of the other coverage. So you see this little motion out, and then he'll just kind of basically run like a wheel. And this is going to go get uh, really good separation against cover two. It's going to be a cover two beater consistently. Um, you're going to have really good success with this play against cover two. So one of the main coverages that a lot of people like to run against tight is they like to run double flats where they have an underneath flat zone and an over the top flat zone and then two deep halves or inside quarters. Um, it could be deep half. It could be a quarter. It, it kind of just, you know, whatever they want to do. Anyways, the reason that this is a really good combo is because it really takes that away. They can't really play uh, play you with that kind of coverage. As you see, I mean, this just consistently is going to cook any kind of double flat. Now, what a lot of people will do is they will play a soft squat zone over there. And if they play a soft squat zone over there, um, this can give them a little bit better success. We'll take a look at some things here, but... Anyway, if you did a combo like this, another reason why tight is really good is just because it attacks both seams instantly every single time. And then as you see here, the soft squat will run with him. A lot of times you can actually just go up and moss it, but the soft squat does run with him. So the way that you get the soft squat not to run with him is a variation on this combo. And that variation would just be to have the running back on some type of flat route and then have the slot on the streak. Now from there, you can kind of do a couple different things with your route backside route combos. You could just run a, a, a post and a drag. I think that's pretty decent. Um, or if you don't want two players running to the same area of the field, you could do a post and a corner on the backside. This is also a pretty good little combo. And what you're gonna see is that soft squat will always bite on the running back, and then you can throw your, your uh, motion, your cheap motion route. So this cheap motion route, really just changes a lot of the ways that you have to play man um, as well. So if they want to play shaded down man coverage, which is the best form of man coverage in this game, this this um, cheat motion is going to do a really good job of attacking cover two man as well. So you'll see here he kind of gets stuck like that, and then you can just throw this against man coverage consistently. So if you struggle with man coverage, tight slots has traditionally been one of the best formations in the game for consistently attacking man coverage. Uh, now you might be asking, okay, well, what if they, you know, start playing more uh, less shaded down man coverage, right? And they started to go to more of a basic man-to-man -man coverage look. Well, if they're going to go to more of a basic man-to-man -man coverage look, then number one, this guy still will get stuck. So as you see here, this is cover one, and he oftentimes is still going to get stuck on that guy and really nice separation on that route. So you have that going for you. Um, and then the other thing that you have is once they start to not press you in man coverage, uh, which is what you're going to inevitably force them to be able to do, they're not going to be able to press you because of the cheat motion, 
then you're going to be able to do all kinds of stuff um, that, to take advantage of the defense. So you'll see here, they're not going to press, and now our corner route is going to be cooking on this left side. So it's just really hard to play man coverage against this defense, and the coverage that you're going to basically funnel people into is some type of either cover three cloud type of coverage or a cover four and most specifically on this right side you're going to get a lot of cover four and cover three on the right side just because there's not really another way they could really cover you uh, within this so the reason that that matters is because if we're running route combos like this you'll also see that this tight slots one you can freeform that to the outside and basically just catch that on the sideline consistently against cover four and you most certainly can catch that consistently against cover three. So if I just run two streaks uh, or a streak here and then this cheap motion play, and then on this backside maybe I run a, just a simple combo like that, like a high-low read, take a look at what this does against cover three. You're going to be able to consistently throw this over here to the right-hand side. So you just have uh, really, really easy ways at manipulating, uh, manipulating coverage within this game. Now, your opponent is um, obviously going to can eventually do some things. I really like throwing this corner route as well, uh, this stem down corner. So I'll kind of show you a combo that I like out of this. So this cheap motion specifically to the tight end, one of the things that I think is really important to look at here is it actually runs a lot faster than most of the cheap motion, in my opinion, or at least just gets up field better. So you could run a combo like this on the backside, and this is a pretty good little play. You're going to see that the stem down corner, I don't stem him all the way down, I just go to five yards, but it just gets underneath that quarter really consistently. So what they're going to do is they're going to ultimately, uh, they're going to start to try to switch stick that, right? A good player is going to try to switch stick that, uh, that route. Well, I don't care if you switch stick that route, because if you switch stick that route, I have this route going over the top, and there's nothing in the game that's going to be able to defend that. A deep half doesn't defend it. The only things that defend that route are outside thirds and outside quarters, which if they're going to consistently switch onto that, we're going to be able to manipulate that coverage. So that's one of the main reasons why I think this is such a good route and such a good play. And then also, if they're going to switch stick onto the flat defender, well, now my drag is going to be wide open. And I just think that this just does a really good job of attacking a lot of different defenses, um, just the core structure that a lot of defenses kind of are built upon. And then you still have this as kind of a late read if they're super, if they're really switch sticking. For example, let's say, you know, they just have a really good user and they switch stick really well. You're going to have this backside post kind of in a real nice spot on the field. You're going to see right here kind of just gets in this little pocket and you can possession catch that. They're going to have to switch stick onto the third as well, and there's just too much to guard in one play. So, And then other combos you can kind of run off of this that I like uh, would be something kind of like this. I think this is a pretty decent little play here where we're able to attack the seams on both sides. Again, this is going to do a really good job of high creating high lows in the middle of the field, uh, but the main route that we're looking for here is this post over the middle of the field. And then we also, because we're forcing them into playing so much cover four and so much cover three, you know, this is a great combo for beating that because you're going to see here that this outside corner route can be thrown with an outside pass lead to the left side against that if we're going to stem that all the way down. So all in all, this offense just, I think, has a lot to offer. Um, and then once they also, if, if they are, you know, just carving you up in man coverage and they're playing good man coverage, one of the things that I always like to tell people is you this is this formation was just created for beating man. Um, you have this this corner and goes play. I like this. I think this is one of the better man beating plays in the game. Um, you're just going to put this outside receiver on a streak or a curl stemmed all the way up, and then you're going to have a backside post like this. This is pretty much just a great man beating route. If you if you don't feel like you need to block your running back, you can throw him on the route as well. But the zig beats man, and then the backwards zig or the inverted zig or the return route does a really good job of beating man as well. And then the post is another route that you have uh, capability of beating man. So there's just a lot of ways in which you can beat man coverage in this. You also have a combo like this that I think is really good this year. Let me show you kind of what we're doing. We have a lot of man beating routes um, that are going to be able to work the middle of the field. And then we also, we also have... Um, so we're able to work the middle of the field within our man beat rounds. We also have a stemmed corner, and we have a, a backside post. So you'll see here that this backside post just can cook man coverage and get into spots on the field 
that are really effective for beating the defense. So in general, the main things that you're going to ultimately face here um, is going to be some type of cover two. One of the other things that you have is the ability, when you flip the formation, you see that it flips really quickly. So we could get into a situation where we run a like a stemmed up stemmed up post on this side. Maybe we run a combo like this, right? Looks a little strange, but it's really good against a lot of different defenses that you're going to play. One of the defenses being cover two, this has a chance to kind of get over the top of cover two. It's just Kyle Hamilton is like the best player in the game right now. But anyway, a lot of times this is going to do a really good job of being able to attack cover two. Let me give you another example uh, with that play. Is you could do something like just a basic streak here. Let me uh, I'm gonna do it like this so that he actually runs kind of where I want him to run. You see he turns inside. I'm going to free from that outside. You see I can just rack catch that to the sideline really well against cover two. So this formation just has – a lot of really good little things um, in it that make it super effective. And I think that, you know, something like even just this running back streak out of the backfield is really, really good. So little mini scheme here out of the tight slots formation in the Bengals playbook. If you guys want to check out any of my full offensive or defensive ebooks, those are going to be available in our school community, school.com slash Cody Ballard. If you want to sign up, the link is in the description below.